Are you feeling classy today? Sit down, pour a glass of wine, and listen to Hoppy Hour. You're tuned in to Hoppy Hour, an hour where Hoppy rants about something. Sit back and listen in. Hoppy Hour is on now. Hoppy Hour is on now. Oh, yeah. And if you want to get in contact with the show, it's not too hard. You can tweet at me in real time at Ryan Hoppy Radio since we don't have a phone line. So if you want to get your comment out there and you want to have your opinion and your voice heard, it's not too hard. All right. We have so much to get into. All right, enough of that. First off, this one <laughs> that I found was pretty funny. It's from WSB TV in Atlanta. And here's what it says. The FBI is investigating a pornographic image that appeared on a billboard. Now, can you imagine if this happened? You know, you're driving down the highway. You're having an all right day, you know, and you see that. <laughs> I mean, oh boy, would that be weird. I just cannot imagine like, driving down the highway and you see a billboard for the local radio show and then one for Pepsi and then, oh, oh, there's one for porno. All right. Here's what it says. Channel 2 Action News has learned the FBI is investigating to learn who possibly hacked an electronic billboard that displayed a pornographic image. Channel 2's Amy Napier Vatiri spoke with a cybersecurity expert about how this possibly could have happened. It's a big electronic advertisement familiar to anyone who travels the intersection of Peachtree Road and East and East Paces Ferry in Buckhead, which is a suburb of Atlanta. I'm not a big fan of those flashing billboards because I'm not the best driver as it is. And not many people are. So it always distracts you because you see it on the side of your eye. And they have those bright logos that you cannot help but just look at. Like Coca-Cola. Or it'll say like, Tampa Bay Rays won. Or if you're in Cleveland, it'll say, the Cavaliers made the uh, NBA Finals. Or if you're in Cleveland, it says, Johnny Manziel is a drunk. You know what I mean? All right. Here's what else it says. Saturday, among the images... Driver saw a graphic photo of a man exposing himself. <laughs> I mean, this is bad. I mean, can you imagine you're driving with your kids and you're having, let's just say, for some reason, it's at the same time as a parent's having a talk with their kid about sex. And then you just see a guy like with his dong out on the flashing billboard. I would be horrified forever. I would also be extremely confused. If I was one of those drivers who, like, either drives high or was tired, and you're like, wait, did I just see a guy's dong out? Like, you're very confused. It says here, one driver was so disturbed that she called 911. Here was her quote. There is an electronic billboard that is flashing a naked man, she said to the 911 call. I would have to imagine that the 911 operator must have thought that she was bad crap crazy because I would not believe for a second that there's a naked pornographic image on the billboard. But, hey, she was right. Here's what she said. It's not actually an emergency. It's just pretty disgusting. <laughs> Police said the billboard's owner temporarily cut power to the billboard. The comments I see... The comments I was seeing on it was, oh my gosh, the children, the Buckhead resident said. Then this was all on social media. Allison, the person that called, said she saw it on Facebook. And here's what she said. I know pe people from the pizza place right next were sitting and having to see it while they ate. <laughs> 
Because nothing says delicious pepperoni pizza like a billboard of a guy's dong out. Wednesday, an FBI spokesperson. <laughs> I love how they're getting the FBI involved on a dong picture. Now, I mean, that is pretty awful that it was out there for people to see. But I love how the Federal Bureau of Investigation is like literally, we need to figure out who put that picture of the dong out. And they're literally getting involved. The FBI spokesperson told Viteri that agents are trying to determine all the servers involved in the apparent hacking. I don't know what is going on, but there is something going on where we are letting the hackers take control of the world. They had the whole fappening thing where every celebrity possible was naked. They hacked the uh, Sony movie theater company. All the information, like when we found out that Kevin Hart's pretty greedy. And that, uh, that one actress is a bitch to work with. I mean, there is something going on where I don't know if our technology is getting weaker or if the hackers are getting smarter and we need to tighten up the security. But if you are able to hack an electronic billboard and put a pornographic image on there, you need to fix up something. It says here, the president of Georgia's Outdoor Advertising Association, while well, it's a long company, sent Viteri a message saying, the industry has established clear and strict protocols on security to, pre to prevent hacking of digital billboards. Now, did you guys really, did you guys really make that clear? Because it doesn't seem too clear to me when there's an image of a guy and his dog whipped out for creeped out people on the highway to see. And imagine how many people saw it until it was taken down. A lot of people go fast on the highway. They go between 55 to 95. So it wasn't like on some dirt road in the middle of nowhere where maybe five people saw it. A lot of people saw it in the busy suburb of Buckhead. So, I mean... Just imagine driving by and seeing it. I mean, I feel bad for any passenger that had to see it. I mean, this is not something that you want to see. I mean, imagine you're drinking your coffee. If I was drinking my coffee in the morning, I literally would spit it out. I would not believe my eyes. All right, it says here. I'm not going to even try and pronounce the guy's last name. But it says, Tony, who runs a security consulting firm, says for some billboards, hacking is as simple as learning a password. Here's what he said. If access to that web interface gets compromised, then it's pretty easy to alter the image. That's what I'm saying. That was my whole point. If it is that easy for hackers to break into things, we need to do something to improve it. If hackers can break into things, then I'm pretty sure some computer geek can figure out a way to have security so tight that the hackers can't even turn on their computer. But no, we're giving them free range and power. I don't know what is going on. But I'm afraid. Like, what if they hack the White House? I'm not kidding. If you can hack a billboard in Atlanta, if you can hack naked pictures of Kate Upton and Justin Verlander, if you can hack Sony Pictures emails, why can't you hack the White House? These guys are powerful, and they're taking over, and it's not funny. And here's what that concerned citizen that made a 911 call. Here's her last thing she said. What's to say it couldn't be something with more sensitive information? If these holes in the security exist someplace, they could exist other places as well. Well said, Allison. I know people probably find this funny. Oh, there's a picture of a dog on the highway. People saw it. No, this is a problem. Hacking is getting out of control. You had, um, I think it was a month ago, Kelly Raspberry from the Kid Credit Show in Dallas. Her Twitter got hacked by some anonymous guy from Canada who was wearing like a mask. And they're getting hacked all the time. I mean, it's getting bad out there, people. And people just kind of seem to think it's funny and we overlook it. No, this is a pretty major problem. And then here is the news article. Familiar to anyone who travels this intersection of Peachtree Road and East Paces Ferry in Buckhead. Saturday, among the usual images, drivers saw a graphic picture of a man exposing himself. 
it's not actually an emergency. It's just totally disgusting. Uh -huh. There's an electronic billboard that is flashing a naked man. One driver was so disturbed she's heard here calling 911. Police say the billboard's owner temporarily cut power to the sign. This must have been an awful billboard. I'm not saying it'd be a good billboard ever to see a guy with his dong out, but do you hear how horrified she is? I'm sure this guy didn't look like George Clooney. Let's just hear this one more time. I love this call. It's just totally disgusting. There's an electronic billboard that is flashing a naked man. One driver was so disturbed she's heard here calling 911. Police say the billboard's owner temporarily cut power to the sign. The comments that I was seeing on it was, oh my gosh, the children. Buckhead residents out. Well, yeah, that would be the first thing you would think of is all the kids that are on the highway, all the minivans, all the sedans that are seeing this. Because think about it this way. Maybe some drivers didn't see it because they're actually paying attention to the road or they're texting and driving. But kids are pretty observant because they're not driving unless they're on their iPhone playing Angry Birds or they're in the second um, row of their minivan watching Winnie the Pooh. Kids look around everywhere. I heard about certain radio shows and certain TV shows back in fourth grade when I would look at billboards. I actually would ask my dad to take me on the highway when we would visit my grandpa and not the side roads because I wanted to see billboards. I thought they were fascinating. So imagine seeing that one. I'm just saying. Listen, all offend and Brett Harrison saw the image on social media. I know people from, from the pizza place were sitting and having to see it while they ate. Wednesday, an FBI spokesperson told me they're trying to better determine all of the servers involved in the apparent hacking and their locations. Man, these servers must have been atrocious. What is your password? One, two, three, monkey. The president of Georgia's Outdoor Advertising Association told me in a statement, the industry has established clear and strict protocols on security to prevent hacking of digital billboards. How can you even say that after it happened? Now, maybe you go a year or two in the future in 2017 and it never happens again. Then maybe you can say that. Let's just hear what the president of the Georgia billboards had the audacity to say. After his billboard was hacked of a naked guy with a dong, how can you even say you have established something when you got hacked? Jesus, this is ridiculous. The president of Georgia's Outdoor Advertising Association told me in a statement, the industry has established clear and strict protocols on security to prevent hacking of digital billboards. But Tony Ucida Velez, who runs a security consulting firm, says for some billboards, hacking in is as simple as learning a password. If that uh, access to that web interface gets compromised, then it's fairly easy to alter the images. And if these holes exist someplace, they exist other places as well. That's what I'm saying. The internet, I feel like, is a very small place. There are billions of web pages. But I feel like it's that saying everybody knows somebody and we're like only one and a half people away from each other. I feel like the internet is very, very easy to hack. And just because the everyday Joe Schmo like me doesn't know how to do it doesn't mean that it's not easy. I feel like if I were to take a class for a month, I could easily learn how to do it. Next on Happy Hour. All right, here is what's coming up next on Happy Hour. Once again, I got five on it. And I'm playing this because it has to do with marijuana. And I love this song. Because most songs about weed by like Mac Miller or Wiz Khalifa or ASAP Rocky aren't that good. Than one hit. But this is pretty badass. Give me some brew and I might just chill. But I'm the type that likes to light another joint like Cypress Hill. I still feel these spin loogies when I puff on it. All right. This is from the Bro Bible. But this is actually true. It's just the Bro Bible. <laughs> I swear, it's a real news site. But they just kind of add in jokes but it's real it says generous pizzeria owner arrested for sprinkling weed on cops pizza because they seemed cool i've never been a real big fan of cops that are cool i would rather have a cop that's kind of not in a good mood 
because I feel like the cops that are in a really good mood or the cops that are really friendly at, let's say, a music fest or a carnival or anywhere, let's say even at Mickey D's late night, I feel like they're trying to get on your good side because they're trying to get your trust and then they're trying to accomplish something. I'm just saying, never ever trust a friendly cop. All right, it says here, the most generous man on the planet was arrested for trying to hook a couple police up with a little pizza on the house, right? So he's like, hey, the cops are here. Why not give them some pizza? But he put a little bit of weed in there. Very smart idea, dumbass. In today's pro marijuana society, this seems more like a nice thing to do, right? Well, no. When the officers puked out the small intestines from it, <laughs> and we all kind of know what weed smells like, and the taste probably tastes a little bit like a flower or a plant. So I'm not sure why they thought they could get away with it. Here's the best part. The officers were hospitalized after becoming dizzy, vomiting, and having hallucinations. <laughs> These guys who worked at the pizza shop must be the biggest dumbasses ever to think that this was a good idea. Here's what the officer admits. Or no, here's what the owner admits, rather. I knew the order was placed by police officers, but the officer who called in the order seemed kind of cool, you know? Like a guy you'd want to hang out with. Plus, he told me to add whatever toppings I wanted. So instead of putting oregano, I sprinkle Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> what a dumbass. Israeli police are trying to get the pizza shop shut down on grounds that it provides a danger to public health. Mixed feelings on this one. It says here, I totally see the owner's angle here. I bet he was hoping the officers would come in a few days later and promote the place. But, basically, this is an opinion article, but the first few um, paragraphs were news. I just don't know why you thought you were going to get away with it. Especially if this is top-notch weed, which it sounds like if they're vomiting and they are having hallucinations. I don't know why you think the cops are going to be like, hey man, where's that weed at? I need some weed. They are cops! Yes, they might be nice. Yes, they might be friendly, but that doesn't mean you give them weed. What's next? You see a cop at a music fest and he gives you a high five, so you give him a pill and you said, Pop that, bro. Molly's going to help you out. Dumbasses. I just don't get people these days. They're just becoming dumber and dumber. Like, this is literally something from idiocracy. All right. Here is what's coming up next on Happy Hour. We have a lot to get to. Now, next on Happy Hour. Next on Happy Hour. This one is pretty interesting. It says here, there is a new finding that says, idiot vapors are messing up their lungs. And I love the people that think that vaping is healthy. Now I get it's a better solution than smoking cigarettes. Now I get that you wanna look cool in public, but I never, ever, ever wanna hear someone that says, oh, it's not that bad for you, because at the end of the day, you're smoking smoke into your intestines, into your lungs, even if it's a vape and it's not a cigarette. It's not nicotine, it is nicotine. All right, it, it says here, like to anyone that vapes or wants to vape or is or is thinking about taking up vaping or loves vaping, you also should not vape. It says, which to me is a logical choice. Everyone should not vape. But people do periodically to quit cigarettes, which they support. But then you should also quit vaping after you quit smoking. Because cool as it looks, which it, to me, it doesn't look cool. I don't get the people who think who think they look cool vaping. You know, they're in a nightclub and they're in the corner checking out the girls and they're vaping this or that. I mean